Hello, my name is Alberto and welcome back to my channel. So I have an event and I've got nothing to wear. So what I decided to do is to make a shirt in an afternoon. So what I'm doing here is I got some fabric. It's a pretty lightweight summery fabric. I did wash it previously as I always do. It's very good to do to avoid shrinkage. And now I'm pressing the fabric with plenty of steam, just so it's easier to work with. So just getting all the creases out. And now I'm gonna, I place my pattern I, and I pinned it all around and I'm gonna cut it. I already have this, this is a trusted pattern that I know works for me and I made many shirts with it so I'm just cutting straight away. I start by sewing the two pieces of the collar. What I do is I put a fusible interfacing on one side and nothing on the other so I get some stiffness which helps give it the shape. So I'm sewing at a one centimeter seam allowance. Clipping the corners. Now I'm pressing all the seams open. This helps me in turning the collar in a neater way later. And turning it out uh, inside out and I'm helping myself with some scissors to get a neater corner. So I'm gonna press the whole thing. Again, using plenty of seam, this is a lightweight cotton and linen, so it, there's no problems with heat or anything. Just pressing it flat. And now I'm gonna top stitch it all around at about half a centimeter. Here I pin the under collar, same thing. So one side has fusible interfacing, the other doesn't. I also folded uh, one centimeter on the edge on of the side with the interfacing and this is gonna help me later when I'm gonna apply it to the neck of the shirt. Now sewing all the way around, pressing everything nice and flat and I'm also pressing and adding a pleat in the back of the shirt and I'm adding the two parts of the yoke which are gonna basically encase the back of the shirt. Top stitching that as well to keep it nice and tidy. Now I'm adding fusible interfacing again, this time on the front in the button placket. So I'm putting the interfacing, cutting any extras. You can cut it before, I just prefer to do it like this, it's faster. And then I'm folding it twice so that I get a nice and neat placket. And now I'm top stitching that as well, so it stays down, always on the edge. Now I pinned the collar all the way around, 
and I'm sewing it on the inside. Uh, the folded part from before basically gives me both a guide and I'm gonna flip it on the part I just did to close it. And since it's folded and it's already uh, nicely finished, it's gonna give me um, a lot less troubles. So stitching it on all the way. And now I fold it on top, basically encasing it. I'm trimming the edges just for ease. And then I'm gonna stitch it down on the edge as usual. And this basically is gonna close our collar completely. And it's gonna look nice and neat. And very stable as well. I'm helping myself just to make sure that everything is nice and encased and I don't have anything poking out and I'm gonna top stitch all the way around the under collar Now here I pinned on the sleeves. Uh, the sleeves I use a French seam. So basically I'm gonna do a regular straight seam but on the wrong side, let's say. And then I'm gonna flip it inside out so it's encased and do another seam to close the channel and then I'm gonna stitch the channel down. So basically now I have the fabric uh, right side out. Gonna give it a press so it's nice and tidy. I always press the seams open when I'm doing this. And then I am going to press it closed. So basically press it on the wrong side, like so. So the seam is closed on the side and it's gonna be sandwiched inside. So now I'm gonna stitch all of this at 0.7 centimeters. So now that I stitched all of it, I'm gonna push it to, towards the inside of the shirt and stitch it down on the edge, making sure that it's nice and flat. And this is a completed French seam. This is gonna be all the seams on my shirt, the remaining one, all on the sides and the sleeves. And this is how it looks like. Since I made very short sleeves because it's summery, I didn't want to work at it too much, I just use my serger to finish the edge very easily and simply. And after pressing it, I'm just stitching it down. I made a small three centimeter hem, uh, but this is really up to you. And now I'm gonna use my smaller home sewing machine because it has an automatic buttonhole maker. And attaching the buttons, I'm using these cute metal ones that I got a long time ago. Now 
This is the part I like the least. And here we go, the shirt is done. So all of that in an afternoon, pretty proud of myself, I must say. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please put a like and subscribe if you did and I'll see you next week. Bye.